Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We're going to look at a permutation, permutation written in cycle notation and practice thinking about how we can write it as a product of cycles, meaning a composition of transpositions or two cycles um, in the following way. Let's start off with something like this. One, two, three, four. It's a permutation that sends one to two, two to three, three to four, and then four to one. Now, let's write this as a composition of two cycles. A two cycles is something like this, like one, two, or one, three, or one, four. Actually, these are the ones we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to write one, two, one, three, and one, four. I could put the little compose symbol in between, but it's not absolutely necessary. It should mean the same thing. First, I do this as a function. It's going to fix anything that's not in here. So in other words, this function right here sends three to three and four to four. This one right here sends two to two and four to four. This one sends two to two, to two and three to three. So let's just think about how this works. If I put one into this, into this composition, I, this takes me to two, this fixes two, fixes two, so output is two overall. So this overall permutation sends one to two. Put two into here. It's sent to one, which is sent to three. And then this fixes three going this way. So it, the out, final output of this is three. Next, let's send three into here. Send three, oh, it fixes it. Go into here, oh, it changes to one. And then one goes to four. So the final output's four. So three ends up going to four. Where does four go? Four goes in, fixes, fixes in here, it goes to one. So it wraps back to one. So we have verified this equality right here. Notice what we did. We take the, if we have a cycle, we take the first element of that cycle, and then we just make transpositions or two cycles. Transposition just switches two things, one to four and four to one. Um, and we, we write them in this order. One, two is the first thing evaluated and then one to three, then one to four. So one, one, two goes here, one, three goes here, and one, four goes right here. So to write some, so for instance, what if I had something like two, five, three, one as a, as a transposition, what would I do? To write this, as, I mean, this is a cycle. This is a cycle is what I meant to say. How do I write this as a product or a composition using the word product for composition as a product of, of uh, two cycles? So start with my first element two. In fact, honestly, you could start anywhere here. I'll show you that in a minute, but let's start with two, first of all, the way it's written. Two, five. The next one is two, three. Next one is two, one. And you can double check this. There's equality here the same way as there was here. Now, this cycle, you could have actually equivalently, equivalently written it this way, five, three, one, two. And you see that this is the exact same permutation as this one. Five goes to three, three goes to one, two goes to five. Well, let's see, two goes to five. Now it's the same. Five goes to three, three goes to one, and then one goes to two. Same. So this is just another representation in cycle notation. Notice how the entries are just simply just wound around once, but it's really the same thing. So um, because of that, using the same idea, you could have used five as the first as the first thing. You could have said five, three, then five, one. And then five, two. And keep in mind that uh, this right here, another way of writing each one of these two cycles, you could write it in reverse order. Five, one is the same as one, five. 
five two is the same as two five and five three is the same as three five. And so what we get is we get a way of writing any cycle. This is a four cycle with four things in it as um, a composition or a product of transpositions of two cycles. Um, and here notice four turns into three. Likewise, um, if we had three things like one, two, three, this would turn into one, three, and, or one, two, sorry, one, two, one, two, and then one, three. Notice there's two. So if there's three things, now there's two things. And we have just seen how to write a cycle as a product of transpositions. Thanks for watching.